some of the most stunning prehistoric art has been closed off from visitors for more than 50 years. But a full-size replica of the Lascaux Caves has been created in France, and visitors can once again immerse themselves in the paintings and the life of the Stone Age. The Lascaux Caves are known as the prehistoric Sistine Chapel. Horses, bulls and goats were painted on their walls about 17,000 years ago. The replica in which we are is extremely good. Uh, I know the, the original cave, I wouldn't say inside out, but fairly well. And it's, um, it's quite faithful to, to the original cave. Here we, we can feel, in a way, uh, uh, in a cave, and the way that those paintings have been reproduced on the walls is extraordinarily faithful. The caves opened to the public nearly 70 years ago, and they were popular. About 1,200 people visited them every day. But the carbon dioxide, heat, and humidity they produced damaged the paintings. So the caves were closed to the public in 1963 to preserve the art. But now the paintings can be seen again. A replica of the caves has been created less than a kilometer away from the original in southwestern France. It opened on Thursday, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in a prehistoric wonderland. Here is this famous scene of the well, where you can see the unique representation of a human, or a kind of human, because in fact this man has the head of a bird. It seems that this man is being pushed by a bull that is itself wounded. You see guts coming from out of its stomach, and a rhinoceros, which completes the scene. So this is a very rare narrative scene in cave art. The paintings are the same size as the originals. They go a long way towards recreating the same kind of mood too. Nicolas Sancir should know. He's one of the few people who've been allowed to visit the real Lascaux Caves. It's about being in front of a work that is 20,000 years old and having the feeling that it's completely fresh painting. It's extremely moving. When you enter the cave, you start to speak quietly. You feel like in a sanctuary. You have the impression that those animals are looking at you, and not only you looking at them. It is moving, yes. I think people here in the replica feel a good part of that emotion. The replica cost $70 million and took four years to complete. Now visitors can see if they agree with French President Francois Hollande when they visit the museum. He called it a work of art.